the year is the good old days. The place is the sleepy village of Bimsley Coombe in Dippington, Westminge. Here the pavements are lined with hay and the women are lined with beef. As the sun rises, a vicar bathes a sparrow in a bird bath and shares a cheeky mother-in-law joke with the village shoe shiner who rescues a badger from a tree. Princess Diana passes by in a horse-drawn Leyland mini, firing her breast milk directly into the mouths of orphans who tip their hats in gratitude before returning to work at the local pasty mine. Meanwhile, families gather at the town hall as a woman is rightfully hanged for thinking about sherbet. Later, the crowds continue the British tradition of putting up with weird shit because it's old by applauding some Morris dancers with her kippers to the elderly. Winston Churchill enters on a horse-drawn horse says something rude about the French. Can I have a kiss? cries an old woman. <laughs> All right, but no tongue. He quips. The entire fucking village pisses himself. You, sir, are drunk, cries a separate woman. Fuck off, bitch, Churchill replies to a smaller laugh before riding off into the great British sunset, shitting Union Jacks. Britain is perfect, but for how long? Now, the year 2015, the place, broken Britain. There is a clap of thunder. A Muslim throws a pork pie at a rapist. It misses and instead hits the local primary school, which instantly catches fire. Outside, a withered Cliff Richard hangs from a giant hashtag-shaped crucifix in Leicester Square, which, built cheaply by two Polish gentlemen, instantly snaps, firing Cliff through the air. Below, a four-year-old called Vajazzle gives birth to an eight-year-old called Pajazzle, who in turn gives birth to a set of paedophile top trumps. Outside, we see Will I Am attempting to fuck the National Gallery. He takes a selfie at the point of climax before wiping himself down on John Constable's The Hay Wayne. Gallery staff spot his actions but fail to respond, distracted by feminism and Orange Wednesdays. Later, the home for sick children and or puppies is destroyed to make way for a brand new synagogue-themed mosque. And nearby, a group of armed hoodies raid an Argos, stealing over a hundred cats. But suddenly Nigel Farage enters through a random door, bulging from within a misjudged purple and yellow leotard. Is this what we want, he says? A country where men can go abroad to fight? Children can go online to wank? And women can go outside? Vote for me and I'll fix Britain, he says. But fortunately, just as he's about to become Prime Minister, Evan Davies swings in on a rope and cock-slaps him and he dies. Well done, Evan. Well done.